In the United States of America, there are many different walks of life with different cultures tied to them. Like take Chicago for example. You might come home from school one day looking like Spongebob because you walked through the wrong neighborhood wearing the wrong color. Or even California, where you might just catch a cannon to your body just because you exist. The world can be a scary place. But today, we want to focus on our home state, the Sunshine State, which is the birthplace of so many of y'all favorite artists over the past years. Yeah, yeah. Get this nigga in his props. That shit was trash. We want to give y'all some context on our lingo, the slang of the state. Now, I'm not gonna lie, if you're a Floridian watching this video, don't be in the comment section all mad if your lingo doesn't match up with what I'm saying because the reality is, some of y'all are living on the wrong side of the state. All Floridians know that South Florida is the only part of Florida that actually matters. North Florida is practically a different state. Yeah, y'all niggas got Disney World, but y'all are way too close to Alabama to be taken seriously. And with that being said, title sequence. Now the first word we're gonna start off with is JIT. Now some of y'all may have heard the word JIT before, and it maybe even comes off pretty clear on what it means. But for all the JIT-sized brain people, I'll explain. In Florida, JIT is to refer to someone smaller, younger, or even weaker than you. But if used on someone you don't know, or someone who is bigger, older, or more hot-headed than you, you may have a problem. Because now calling them JIT is a form of disrespect. Like, yeah, you're big, but you really give off little nigga energy. Don't say a word, just give me everything you got. Ah, Jit thought he was a tough guy, huh? Why the long face now, brother? Next up, we have green, which could mean one or two things. First, green can mean somebody is shady or grimy. He cannot be trusted. Or it can also mean somebody is new, a newbie. Kind of like a fruit growing on a tree for the first time. It's usually green, but it's a pretty easy term to understand when it's being used in the context of conversation. Yo, Feek, what's wrong? Bruh, I just put a camera in my room to see why my girl keeps asking what time I'm coming home. Just to find out my uncle smashed my girl again, bruh. Damn, just been moving crazy on her. He's green as fuck for that. I'm already knowing, bruh. Next, we have gook. Now, gook is not a term of endearment. It pretty much means the same as calling someone a lame. And if you call someone a gook in Florida, don't be surprised if you get slapped up. Following up gook, we have flaw. Flaw is used to call someone fake. Jessica just broke up with me, man. She said something about needing space and I was being too clingy, but it doesn't make any sense. We literally were good a few days ago. Word? That's crazy, fam. She flaw as fuck for that. Just focus on yourself, king. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You right, bro. I'm gonna go hit the gym. You trying to slide with? Uh, nah. I got something I gotta do tonight. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, my G. You're hooking up with Jessica again tonight, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, nigga's a gook. He'll never find out. Bro, nice chain. Thanks, gangsta. You know I had to do it big. I see that, bro. It looks good as fuck for a fake. Where'd you get it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what you say? You bugging right now. My chain, 30 carats. You ever seen a 30 carat chain? This shit cost 300,000, bro. Stop playing with me. How? That's impossible. You still live with your mom. And she pays your phone bill. What are you talking about? This brings us to our next word. Flodging. To be flodging means you're capping or lying. But like, lying out of your ass. If you have dreams and aspirations of being a Florida boy, go ahead and drop a like on this video. And if this video gets to at least 2,000 likes, we'll know that you'll want a part two. And we'll give you even more Florida words to learn so you can communicate with people like Kodak Black, Little Pump, and my personal favorite, Smoke Perk. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight.